Meet Claire McCallan. To little girls, when they're young, we have to help them become... Spoken word poet, artist, published author, and journalist. Here performing original work, Dream. I'm just announcing that I am going to be the mother of a beautiful dream. Every night as I try to sleep, I can feel her kicking, teething, breathing, breathing, dreaming. I wrote it on the back of a receipt because I was working, working at a thrift store near Times Square. And that's the perfect conditions to write something like that because I was desperate. I was hurting. I was in New York City. Mm. I didn't have friends. I had no money. And all, literally all I had was a dream. Is there room? In the inn, is there room for one more dream? A dream See born after many failures. I couldn't make things work. Friendships, boys, like uh, creative opportunities, school, I just couldn't. It took me a really long time to figure out how to have poise in my path. So how, when did you figure out how to hold yourself? I really believe that confidence and self-respect are earned. Ooh. So I had to go through the years of it not working and prove to myself that I am who I say I am. And that's the only way we live in this culture. You know, I think you and I kind of referenced it a little bit before when we were chatting. Uh, this culture of like super positivity and confidence and like you should be proud of yourself all the time. You should be so confident and all the time. Like you're perfect. You're without fault. Like that's not true. You owe to nobody. Yes, exactly. I actually really do believe that most Insecurities, not all of them, but most insecurities do have a factual base because we know something about ourselves. Claire says one of her former insecurities was finding her niche. That changed in a trip to India. While she was volunteering at an orphanage in Calcutta, Claire got sick with typhoid. And as she was recovering in bed, she discovered spoken word poetry online. Watching these poets, I was like, I think I could do this. I think I could write this. I think I could communicate to a room of people like this. So you said, I want to do this. And yeah. you said, I can do this. Mm -hmm. But what was your message? Did you know what you wanted to say? Yeah, I think that the message that I wanted to share was speaking about truth, beauty, goodness, and redemptive suffering, which are kind of some old school grandparent terms that you don't see in the arts world anymore, but they're really core values that I've built not only my life around, but my art practice mm. around. After India, Claire moved to Manhattan, all for that dream. We have this physical womb, but we have this kind of creative womb as well, and the space to just let things grow within us. And I think sometimes we're not prepared. We talk about dreams that take longer than we had hoped to achieve. Uh, we're not prepared for how long that gestational period might be, you know, and just like a pregnant woman, by the end, you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> get this out of me. Out of me. <laughs> Claire is an only child. She grew up in Massachusetts in a Catholic family. Your faith has given you the strength, the will, the purpose, but do you find it or do you think other people see it as a repellent? Yeah, okay. absolutely. I'd say Christianity has a pretty bad image problem here in the United States right now. Uh, but Christianity has always had an image problem all over the world. <laughs> like it's never just even saying like suffering is good or like you're not perfect yeah. and you should improve and like you shouldn't always be confident every day for no reason. Like that's enough to make people hate you. Yes. But you just can't live your life with tape on your mouth. And I really do believe in the things that I'm saying. And a big part of our faith is proclaiming it with joy and with honesty and some volume in my voice. And that's something I really struggled with lately because I'm so acutely aware of myself missing out on opportunities. Mm -hmm. Will you have me? Because I swear if I had you, I'd have everything. And I mean, I don't have the money for a ring but I've got the guts to do this on stage so come on. You wrote a wonderful poem about love. Have you ever been in love before? I don't think so. How can you express something yes. that you haven't experienced? I really think that as of right now the great love of my life. Okay yes I have been in love because I'm so deeply in love with my art and with the creative process and I very much live the lifestyle of a woman in love. And I know that. It's the way I move through the world. It's very romantic. And the relationship I have with this creativity and this art, it's love. It's true, 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 like fairy tale love. Because like everything we've talked about, there's nothing I won't sacrifice for it. 
it is the object of everything to me and I've written love poems to my art. Uh, I hope it doesn't stay that way forever. I'd like to fall in love with a human man. This could be cool. <laughs> In 2021, in response to the desperate need for housing and support for artists during the pandemic, Claire started St. Joseph's Home for Artists in the north end of Boston. Since they opened, the home has housed about 40 artisans, including dancers, musicians, photographers, poets, and many more. In return, the artist gets to share their gifts with the community for free. You offer space for mm -hmm. artists to come here. Mm -hmm. um, what are the criteria? Yes. Mm. So people all the time are like, well, is it just for Catholic artists? Is it just for Christian artists? And my answer truly is no. The individuals do not need to be a practicing Christian mm. or Catholic. I just ask that they don't create work that goes against the values of this program mm -hmm. and that isn't going to like go against what St. Leonard's, our host church, stands for. Okay. Uh, and also that they'll participate in the program like anyone else. So mm. like, I would take anyone of any different belief system, I just ask that you come to Mass with us because it's part of the program. Claire's advice is to fail early and often. St. Patrick's Home for Artisans is accepting new applicants. For that information, you can visit their website. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share to catch this and many more episodes. Asante.